Hey guys, last episode I talked a little bit about my opinion and how I personally was feeling about the state of the game at the moment, and I sort of wanted to balance out my opinion in today's episode, and I wanted to make this video just to let you guys know uh, some more unbiased opinions and some partial f and some practical facts about the game, because I was very, uh, very pushy on my opinion on the game that I personally thought it was sort of dying or I was starting to lose interest in the game a bit, but I do know that that is not the case for a lot of people in the world, and you'll see just how many people that really is in a few moments. But I really just wanted to get that out there and then sort of balance my biased opinion with uh, unbiased and more practical facts. So I firstly just wanted to mention that Clash of Clans has been one of the biggest games in the history of mobile games ever. It's been like number one on the top grossing apps for like, I don't know, like three years in a row. Uh, I don't know the specific years, but it has definitely been at the top of the app store, Google Play and uh, on Apple for a very long time. And it still remains on the top charts uh, even till today. I believe it's about 15th on grossing right now. Uh, if not, it's still top 20, which is absolutely incredible, com especially compared to all of the apps that it is ranked up against. Because right now, mobile gaming and video games in general are just absolutely huge, and there is more and more competition out there day every every single day. And then, like I mentioned in my last video, one of the uh, Clash of Clans has one of the best player bases around. With all these leagues, clan websites, and group chats that are all being created, it truly is amazing uh, that a free game has been having this much of an impact on our community, and that the player base is going through all these extra efforts just to make the game that much better. And like I was saying, Clash of Clans still has millions and millions of players. Uh, I believe, I can't remember whose video it was that I was watching, so I ended up watching all of these other uh, Clash of Clans YouTubers who were talking about uh, RIP Clash of Clans, as in general Tony said. Uh, and then like, Is Clash of Clans Dying by Galadon, and I believe it was Klaus as well. And I believe one of them said, I can't remember exactly which one, but one of them said that there was over 130,000 players in Legend League last season, which is really, which is a huge number to be honest. Uh, and that gives us a really good idea of just how many players really are playing the game. Because if there are 130,000 players just in Legends League alone, the majority of those are usually Town Hall 11s. Of course, there are always the Town Hall 10s and then the rare occasions Town Hall 9s and 8s and even I don't know how low it goes. But that is incredible. 130,000 players in the hardest league to get into. So that means Titans 1 is a lot easier to get into. Uh, and I'm sure you guys could agree that getting into Champions, getting into Crystals League would be a lot easier to do than getting into Legends League. So, considering that, there's probably millions and millions of players playing this game right now. Uh, I can't confirm any specific numbers, I believe that is all confidential to Supercell alone, but it does help give us a really good idea and be able to picture just how many players are playing. So by no means is Clash of Clans dead, uh, there is a massive fan base still, and especially a really uh, a really big dedicated fan base, like I was mentioning with all the leagues and like clan chats and all of that stuff. So. So basically just to sum up, because uh, I want to keep this video fairly short, um, is that the game is definitely not going to die, and that is what I really meant to say in my last video, that the game isn't, or sorry, what I meant to say in my last video was that the game isn't what it used to be, and by no means is it dead, it just isn't as big as it once was, which is totally understandable considering Clash of Clans was literally a ginormous game, and I guess it was just hard for me to look at the big picture and, and uh, compare the two like that. I will, I will always believe that Clash of Clans will be relevant, and I'm going to do everything that I can, which by the way isn't a whole lot, but I'm going to do everything that I can to keep Clash of Clans alive and going strong. I just hope that Supercell will do the same. And so I really just wanted to voice my opinion on that, and I really do hope that Supercell does everything in their power to keep the best game in the world going strong, and hopefully keep it going on forever. And I'm going to be, uh, for me personally, since I was starting to lose a little bit of interest in my almost pretty much maxed Town Hall 11 account. I'm gonna try switching some things up to keep myself a little more interested and engaged with the game. So I'm gonna be coming out with a video talking about that shortly. Uh, just depends when I have time because I am going on vacation very, very shortly. I believe in like three days. Um, so I'll have to find time to do that. And then, um, what else did we have to say here? Uh, oh yeah. And then I also am gonna be coming out with a video like a few hours probably after this one, just talking about how how I personally think Supercell can change things up, or what they can do to make the game um, to sort of help it grow again and help it become what it once was, not really bringing it back from the dead, 
but making it uh I don't I don't even know the right words for this but basically just to make it what it, what it once was and bring back a huge part of the player base and hopefully just help revive the game even more so but anyways that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video I hope you guys did enjoy uh, I am currently working on the Grand Warden story. This one is taking a bit longer to create as it is a very complex troop and there isn't much information on it, but I do promise you guys that it will be coming out sometime shortly. Uh, I just need to help, just need to finish uh, a little part of the story and then record it and edit it. Hopefully I can have that done in a boat like two or three days from now. So uh, stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.